Okay, so if you have gone through the transition from your summer to winter setup, or if you've just purchased a garden tractor like an X7 series, or you just purchased a plow to add on or a snowblower, well, it may or may not have come with something called a lockout valve. And so what the lockout valve does, you may hear it called a diverter valve. I may have said it myself because I mix up terminology sometimes, but a lockout valve is what it is. And I'll post a link to the, uh, the part number. And I think I found something that could save you guys some money as well. A link to an alternative that appears to be um, quite a bit cheaper than the OEM version. Welcome to Good Works Tractors. From snow to mow, Good Works Tractors is the place to go. Shop goodworkstractors.com, subscribe to our channel below, like our Facebook page, and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. All right, so what we've got going on here is we have a dial right here, okay? It's gonna open and close a valve, and so right now, this valve is closed entirely which means that it's bypassing the mower um, lift mechanism, okay? And so this is a line that would essentially raise and lower your mower deck when you instruct the machine to in the summertime. In the wintertime, this slows down the angling of the, of the plow blade, okay, on the front of your tractor. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up the whole way. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the tractor on and we're gonna angle that snow plow left to right. And you'll see how it goes really slow to begin with and then it kind of takes off, okay? And so then I'll close this valve, I'll reverse the, uh, the turning here and get it closed and then we'll try that process again and you'll see the fast response. I'm gonna do this from the operator station, that way you can see when I have the control engaged and then also the uh, function of the plow at the same time. So if you have a tractor and you need to install one of these valves, it is easy to do. I did this in about 15 or 20 minutes. It was a couple years ago, so my memory is slightly foggy, but essentially there was a, uh, an elbow that was in this location already, okay? It's an existing line that's there. You're simply adding this lockout valve, essentially replacing the elbow here and, and with this valve system on it, okay? So a couple of wrenches, put something underneath to catch a little bit of oil that'll spill, and you can do this yourself, okay? I'm gonna post some links online, one to the OEM version of this valve, and then one to an aftermarket version where you can save a few bucks as well. Okay, so again, I do have that valve open right now. So it's, it's the same as if there was not a valve installed at all. So I'm gonna go ahead, fire the machine up. We're gonna get this thing to angle. I always forget if it's the bottom or top lever, but whatever. It's gonna be the one that angles it left to right. And so you'll see it's slow to angle and then it speeds up, okay? And then after that, we're gonna close that valve and we're gonna put it in action like it's supposed to be, okay? And then we're gonna do that same left to right function and you'll see how it responds quicker. See there, it's very slow and then it speeds up. Very slow, speeds up, okay? Slow, speeds up, okay? So you can see that it uh, responded quickly there in the beginning. I, that's probably because there was already fluid in the lines since I have operated this uh, with the, the valve closed already. But then it quickly reverted to the slow response and then after it went through that mechanism, it improved. And so I am going to now close this valve off like it is supposed to be. And we're gonna repeat the procedure. I'll hop on here. We'll fire it up. Okay, real quick video here just showing that these same JDM A-Star bulbs, LED bulbs, are going to work in the uh, X7 series. Same as they worked in the 3R and 4R and fender lights for the 1 series, 2 series, and all that stuff too. So these are not quite a one size fits all, but they fit many of the bulbs. If you have a John Deere 1 series, like a 1025R or a 2025 or 2032, that kind of thing, um, you'll need to... Uh, 
get a different style, the H4, which you can get in the link in the description as well. But these are a piece of cake. So I'm gonna set the phone down, but I am just going to be undoing that clip there and the same thing on this side. I just can't hold the phone and do that at the same time. Here's a quick look, just showing them side by side. You can see they are the same. Okay, we have now upgraded the X739. You can see it right there with those LEDs. Can we get it up close? You can see it tucked right in there. Sweet. Looks quite a bit better. Link is below in the description. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Make sure you subscribe. Have a great day.